There's more promising news in the race for a coronavirus vaccine. Moderna says early results suggest its COVID-19 vaccine is almost 95 percent effective. This comes on the heels of Pfizer's announcement that its shot appeared similarly effective. We're at a point where we're really seeing the promise, where we're seeing that even these new technologies may produce vaccines that, that are going to help us meet this need. But we're waiting for more data, longer follow-up. And then even as that becomes available, hopefully in the next couple of months and for other candidates, we also have the issue of having enough vaccine to really make an impact on the pandemic. Worldwide, nearly a dozen vaccine candidates are in final stage testing with varying approaches. Some companies are using brand new technologies that have little to no track record, like Moderna and Pfizer. Their shots inject the genetic code for the spike protein to teach the body to recognize if it encounters the real thing. Other contenders made by AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, and China's CanSino use a Trojan horse approach. They use versions of a cold virus, weakened so it can't spread, to carry the genetic material of a spike protein into the body. China's Sinovac and Sinopharm develop vaccines using tried-and-true technology. They're inactivated vaccines made from killed virus, like many flu shots. Novavax uses an approach similar to other vaccines, such as ones for hepatitis B and human papillomavirus. Its shot uses a lab-grown copy of a protein that normally covers the virus. We never know that any particular vaccine is going to succeed and how uh, effective and safe it's going to be. So the more chances, the better. The more shots involved, the better. China and Russia began vaccinating thousands of people before getting any data from final testing. The U.S. and Europe require data from massive studies to prove if any shots work and are safe. Moderna and Pfizer will ask the Food and Drug Administration to allow emergency use of their vaccines in the coming weeks. But shots will likely not be available for widespread use before spring.